questions. The first question is, how many of you here have started a company before? Okay, a lot of you here. So how many of you have failed? <laughs> okay, a lot of you too. That's good. My name is Edward, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Started Up, and we are here to help startups. So every year, there's at least 600,000 online businesses new online businesses, registered ones. But unfortunately, less than 10% of those succeed. And so why are we building Started Up? So I'm gonna tell you about a story of me in 2009. So in 2009, I had this great idea to tag products in pictures. So I was really excited about this idea. So the first thing I thought about was to just build it. But you know, unfortunately, I wasn't a very good coder, so I had to outsource my idea. And we weren't really going out to talk to our customers and validating our idea, so we actually ended up building a very complex product with all the wrong features. But you know, actually, people were really excited about our idea. We got a lot of press. TechCrunch also featured us. But in the end, it just didn't work out. And you know, I think there's too many other people like me out there. But you know, I think that failures actually teach you a lot more than successes. So through that experience, I actually had a whole new transformation. I became a lean startup practitioner, an expert in SEO and content marketing. I also went on to become the CEO of National Division at Groupon Taiwan. So along the way, I even started helping some startups build and grow. And today, I want to scale that effort. So that's the reason why we built Started Up, and it's an online school for startups. So how this works is that there's two parts of this. The first part is an interactive course based on the Lean Startup and other proven method, methods from case studies and experts. So we've broken this whole startup thing down into step-by-step. -step. So for anybody, it's super easy to get started, even if you don't know how to code. And also, we let you track your progress. Everything you input, we save it for you, so that even if you have a nine to five job, it's very easy to get off work and just return back to starting your business. And also, we believe in showing and not telling. So everything we promise that we will, we can, you're gonna get results for it. So built on top of that, there's actually a whole social community around that. So as a startup, you can connect with other users, startups, experts, or investors so they can discuss about topics. You can get feedback for the things you want to ask about, and you can also collaborate and just partner up with other startups. So let me show you how this works. So this is a screenshot of our dashboard. On the top right, you'll see that there is a widget for, the, for your project, and you can also see the progress. On the left, in the middle, where you can see the feed of all the startups in your network and what they're talking about. For instance, this startup, is asking the other startups in his network to give him feedback for his MVP. So let's just say you're in the mood to build, you dive into our course. Our course has five main sections, from having an idea, to validating it, to building it, to growing it, and to getting, getting it funded. So here's another example of, if you dive in deeper, you go into the task. This task could actually help you soft launch, and then get your first 100 early adopters. And you know, the two main customer segments that really love our platform are the entrepreneurs. These people are the ones who have great ideas, they don't know how to get started, and they really want to learn. And also, the entrepreneurs who are experienced, they have something, but they're stuck, and they really want to grow. And so far, we've actually already found 1,200 or more of those uh, entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs on our platform. And we've grown them just basically from word of mouth and also from our favorite tech spots. So what do our users think about us? Frank is one of our favorite early adopters, and he said that as a first-time founder, he's found Started Up to be simply awesome, and which helped him build his first website, which is on this 
screenshot below. And users like Frank also love that we hosted a Q&A session with Ash Mario. So we have partnerships like this, this which we plan to do a lot more in the future. Okay, well, so, you know, the market for, the e-learning market for startups is actually growing. There are alternatives, I mean, and unemployment rate is high. But the thing is, we started up is actually the only solution out there that has a whole continuous guide, a focus on social, helping you connect with others. And also, we're, just not, a, we're not just an e-learning platform, but an e-building platform. So how big is this market really? I mentioned it was 600,000, but it's actually a lot bigger. So from this is data from many sources, which tells us that there's actually 300 million new websites per year. That is huge. So how, how do we plan to take advantage of that? So we have two plans on our website. The first one is a freemium model. You get limited access to the course. You also have limited uh, communication options with other users and experts. And obviously for $25 per month, you get the, the whole deal. And we also have uh, additional revenue streams. So if you're a service provider, we welcome you. You can come um, help our startups and provide your tools to our startups because they need it. And also, we also want to upsell our users on additional tools, events, and services. <coughs> so what's really cool about what our platform can become in the future is, number one, we're looking to maybe expand to other markets in different languages. Some people have, have actually already asked us to part partner up with us to expand into different languages. We're other verticals, say hardware, we're offline. And also, I mean, startup is a great place to, for people matching, right? We're going to have all the startups and mentors on the website. And at the same time, a lot of people have also suggested that if we could become an investment uh, platform, it would be great because we have all that data from the startups. So the team behind making all this happen is me, Edward, I'm the CEO, and also Etel, who is a super hacker, and, the lead, and he was also the lead developer over at Computer Associates. So what's next for us is that we're looking for help. So if you're an accelerator, an expert, a uh, mentor or a service provider where you're a startup yourself, please come sign up and help. And also, we're looking for $200,000 in funding. I mean, our users already love our platform. We want to be able to create additional productivity tools to help further our value to them. And also, we want to organize more offline events and workshops. And this will last us for another six to eight months. So at the end, I, I will have to say so, Next time you think about starting or funding a startup, remember that there's always a better choice than to just build it. Thank you. Questions? Sorry, what was that? Customer acquisition strategy. Okay. So as of now, um, I think we're still, I can't say that we've reached a product market fit. So we're try still trying to figure out what's the most value for our users. And right now, about 60% of our traffic comes from word of mouth. They're all direct traffic. And the rest is coming from some of the stories that uh, we were covered in. And also, we're doing a lot of answering people's questions on Quero, which gives us a lot, the conversion rate from Quero is really, really high. So, very quick question. Were you guys maybe thinking about gamifying the whole thing and, you know, adding, like, badges and... Yeah, we project? actually have that. So, let me, um... So, we actually, yes, yeah, so we have that, and uh, we basically try to have that at any stage that we actually want them to take action on. So on the right, your next achievement. <laughs> yeah. Could you could you share some numbers with us? How how many paid customers uh, with the growth and so on? So we launched on February twentieth, and so far we already have close to actually thirteen hundred startups on our platform. We are fine, thank you. Thank you.